from Carrie Love Cat, and I have a few tips for how to organize your memorabilia. Things like yearbooks, pictures, scrapbooks, things like that. You know, we grew up in the 80s and the 90s though. Like we had paper pictures and big VHS tapes and tons of things, tons of stuff. I mean, we just grew up with tons of stuff. That was like our era. So the first thing you want to do is to visualize, decide, this is how much space I'm going to dedicate to this in my life. And you need to decide what that looks like for you. So for me, it looked like this small bin. I wanted to fit everything in a tiny little bin. When I started, I really didn't think I could do it. You need to look at organizing memorabilia like a game of Tetris. It's like a video game. First you decide on the space you wanna designate it, then you get everything to fit. Yeah, for me, it's a small box. For other people, it might be a closet, it might be a whole attic, you know, I don't know. Um, it, it's personalized to you and the items that you have. Tip two, get rid of your scrapbooks. I know, that's awful, right? You worked so hard on them, they're so beautiful. Guess what? They're really hard to go through. So save your favorites. I found a great blogger, and I'll link her below, who gave me this idea, which was to take your giant 12 by 12 scrapbooks and turn them into very small Project Lifestyle scrapbooks. These are actually recollections. They're like the generic Project Life. Photograph the pages. I mean, even on an iPhone, it's, they're great, they're beautiful, photograph them. Make a digital album of your paper scrapbook using your phone. You can do it right on your phone. There's even apps. <laughs> you can go into iPhoto and create a book. You'll end up taking a 12 by 12 scrapbook and making it a small little digital book that is so much easier to share. Not only that, but those beautiful pages that you've scrapbooked of your children and your family events, you can print copies, you can give everyone in the family a book. A beam of light coming through. I keep moving the camera no matter what I do, it just comes through, so um, it'll go away though. Um, so basically you wanna organize your pictures. Tip three is organize your pictures. How do you do that? It's the down and dirty style. I actually have a video, I'll link below, I did it a long time ago. Um, once you take all your scrapbook pages out, once you take all your tapes out, once you take all your pictures out, everything's in a big pile, it's a big mess, you want to categorize it. Some ideas for categories include college and beyond, which I have right here. Um, another great one is high school. I know when I was going to high school in the late 90s, I'm old, um, we had, took a lot of pictures and we actually made a lot of scrapbooks, the kind where you cut little heads out and like teen magazines and stuff. Um, so I had a lot from high school, so that one got its own little book. Another category is, I just call it family heritage. You get a lot of family photos, group photos, Thanksgiving photos, everything like that. At this point, you're just sorting them into piles. So my next tip is to designate an area in your house for this process and designate time. You're not gonna do this in a night. You're not gonna even do this in a week. It's probably gonna take a month to do. And after you've done sorting the photos, you might need to take a break. You can have a backup. So my philosophy is scan them. You might not even want um, albums like this after you scan them. You might just wanna do digital albums, but I just couldn't part with some of these pictures. And I like to have paper, a little bit of paper. So, so I'm just gonna show you some of the ideas that I have here and some of the different things in case you wanna um, you know, use those ideas. So the first thing I have is I use Becky Higgins inserts and they're small. And this one is just an open pocket. And so in here I have one of my sorority pictures and a picture of my college, because this is college and beyond. There's scrapbooks that other girls had made me, so I have different things from the sorority in here. Makes these little inserts, they're archival safe. They will keep your photos clean and preserved and keep the colors. There are one, two, three, four. There's all kinds of configurations with these plastic inserts, so you can just go nuts. Uh, from my bachelorette party again one of those two pocket pages with the thing there this is um our wedding announcement i didn't save the giant photos guys i just saved the smaller ones i don't really need to remember myself in a big way this i put on instagram so 
Another tip is you wanna get out your scissors because you're gonna to wanna to trim stuff to fit in here. This was a giant folder full of cheers, so if you have papers you've written or artwork you did or whatever, you can trim anything up to fit in here. You wanna remember the memory. You don't need like all the ratted edges and stuff like that. Just trim it up, you know, that's fun. It's a nice memory. In the back I saved a couple of the cheers and a nice uh, cheer picture of me as well, which I have shared this on Instagram, and all the way up to, I was in the newspaper, but I don't know if that other girl wants to be in it, but my senior picture, my hair was like hairsprayed, it was like a helmet. So, Glee the Family Heritage Book, these are all the photos, like recent photos that either got printed or sent to me. So like, here's a picture of my um, cousins and I are going on a ropes course. My cousins are all younger than me and really in shape. <laughs> um, falling water. Drink Lloyd Wright, so just different things like that. I actually made a book for my mom. All my pictures and categories, I kind of categorized them again for each book. So I had all my family heritage uh, categories, and then you want subcategories. So you kind of just had all these random pictures of people with grandma, so I just made a little grandma section. I had a pile probably four times of what could actually fit in here, and I had to go through and scan stuff, throw stuff away, give stuff away, and I kept what was um, really important to me, what invoked the strongest memories. So what I did there is I got these UBs from Target, and then I got, I went online and I got some Making Memories um, 8 by 11 sheet feet. I also took apart my baby book and I kept pages. Um, because like, here's my little baby feet. Because then it's just so much easier. Making Memories has bigger sheets that are kind of like Becky Higgins, but as you can see, this is a fourth pocket. So I put them in there. So just um, more of my childhood there. This is my first birthday party, guys. Um, and these pictures are old, they're already faded. I didn't want to use any glue dots on them, even the removable glue dots, just because they're so old and porous. I really needed these archival safe. So I will leave the link below. If you have a ton of these old little photos, these are perfect. And again, I use the UBs because you can't fit very much in these. I got these on purpose. I didn't want a giant album. This is very light. If somebody comes over, hey, let's look at the old photos of us from the 80s. Cool, here you go. And everything's in here. Miscellaneous, bigger items. Um, some of the things I have in here are my This is an old TV guide. I did an independent study on the Beatles <laughs> um, for one of my projects in school, so I have that. I used to do a little bit of voiceover, and this is actually one of the voiceover um, things that I did. I have those. Yearbooks, this is actually my mom's yearbook. My mom and my dad are in this yearbook, and so I went to Staples and color copied the pages that they were on and put them in here, and I didn't have to save the whole book. Now down at the very bottom, I have things like my diplomas, um, but I did save my letter, and I don't know, I might get rid of this one of these years and just photograph it and put it in the high school book. Um, the last thing I have are these DVDs. I have converted, I don't know, 30 or 40 videotapes. I'm not even kidding you, it's a big job. You can get converters online, they sell them on Amazon, you can take your VHS tape somewhere. My advice, my tip for that is to just do it because some of the tapes that I had that I thought I was saving so nicely were already damaged from moisture, from water, from age. So if you have any old VHS tapes sitting around of old events, definitely like get them get them in and get them converted. You'll be happy you did. It's gonna be saved on a hard drive so you don't necessarily have to save them like I do. I have them in a Ziploc bag because um, a DVD binder is really nice. I did that for my mom so she could have them all like in her living room. Um, but I'm not gonna, if I ever really need to watch them, I'll probably uh, put on my hard drive on my computer and watch them. And these are basically just extras for people that want them. I use these and you can get these at Aaron Brothers. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of places that sell them. And this is actually 
the deco um, armadilloart.com it's made in England and it's just an art folder art folio inside we have, we have artwork of course my artwork my husband's artwork other artwork that we want to frame once we're done um, redecorating our kitchen we have um, big photographs I think that as I get older, this stuff will probably eventually get put on a hard drive because the, really the most important thing in life are people and experiences and new adventures. So I hope that this inspired some of you out there.